Okay, uh, Catalyst uh, and the folks at PwC who put me forward uh, for this, thank you uh, very much. Um, I'm actually very comfortable speaking, except when it's about myself. So Kim, Diane, thanks for uh, pushing me outside of my comfort zone. Um, this is a little bit of a surreal event, so I'm going to enjoy the moment. But I think what makes it special is I am joined by my two teenage daughters. And um, 24 years ago, they're not teenage, grown daughters. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a slip, but we'll go with it. I'm sure they're happy. Uh, <laughs> so 24 years ago, I, I dragged them from South Africa on this uh, big Canadian adventure. And, uh, you know, all fathers of daughters know that you very quickly figure out who's actually in charge, and it's not you. Uh, but what I will say is, uh, having the opportunity to watch them grow up in Canada, I learned this amazing sort of uh, lesson, which is they look at the world with no bias. And I realized that that's an amazing learning, and I really embraced that from them. Um, now, between the two of them, today they have uh, three children, all girls. And uh, early next year, they'll be adding another one to the clan. And lucky me, it's another girl. So... <laughs> So I would say that, uh, you know, the work that we've done at PwC, if it in some way has made a tiny crack in that glass ceiling so that when those little girls grow up and enter the workforce, it's truly as diverse where they can be whatever they want to be. Um, when people hear about my involvement in the Women in Leadership program, they typically are surprised. And I'm not sure if that's because of my personality or whether because I don't have HR or d &I in my title. Um, but I always look at it as uh, this is around talent and the world that we live in of um, sort of massive disruption. If you lose top talent from 50% of the, of the workforce, you clearly have an issue. And that was really sort of what started us going. Um, one of the key elements behind it, though, is when we talk about tone from the top. So Bill McFarland, who's our CEO, supported us from the beginning. And from the beginning, it was around uh, giving us capital to actually run the program. And given there's a lot of accountants in PwC, I'm happy to say that the ROI is good as our, <laughs> as our attrition rates uh, sort of increase and the number of uh, graduates of the program become partners. You know, that's very positive. And then earlier this year, the statement and the goal was set of, uh, of having 50-50 of new partners by 2020. And I think that is very Im important. <laughs> so I do believe, however, that if we are going to address this, it has to be a grassroots movement. So what we are doing at PwC is we are taking our involvement in the He for She movement, which is this little pin, which is the UN sort of uh, movement for gender diversity. And we have a, a growing group of PwC men who are taking that and really making commitments. And those commitments are really three things. One is understand the gender data so that you can actually be informed when you are making hiring, promotion, and talent decisions. The second thing is addressing unconscious bias, not in a confrontational manner, but in an educational manner, because it is unconscious after all. And the last one is sponsorship. Now, we're not telling them who to sponsor. We're just saying, go out and find some PwC woman professional that you see a glint of something special and sponsor them. And based on my experience, when you sponsor someone, you get to live vicariously through someone else's success. It's, uh, it's fantastic. And lastly, I have to uh, say thanks to a very special group of PwC women who early on, when I was sort of uh, trying to get this going and, you know, doing the normal male thing and doing it with a full frontal assault, there were a couple of PwC women who saw through that as saying, hey, Philip's got real passion around this. And they rallied around me. And I think it's a great story of the power of, uh, of gender sort of inclusion because I could not have done it by myself, and when we came together, we created something that is truly remarkable, and we can say that because we know from the feedback it is impacting people's lives. So I'm honored to accept this, but I really accept it on part of, the, of myself and that amazing group of PwC women. Thank you. Thank you.